Okay, so um, me and Brian are talking about, we, we do this a lot. As you get older, I guess it's exciting things to talk about our future. And Well, yeah, I mean, especially we know we're going to want to move in the next couple of years. He's trying to convince me. No, no, no. You threw the idea out. I said, how we okay. Just move. I said, in, like, you know, if, for instance, if, you know, my YouTube channel ever takes off to be something, you know, really, not, really good, which is my goals. If Brian's channel takes off and it does really well, where we have the option, you know, we, ha we are more able to go and do things we probably couldn't do. Yeah, like. Good. Traveling is a big one. We have we don't have kids right now, so it's kind of like ideal. We do have kids though, technically. Yeah, we They're have our dogs, and that's the rough one. Well, that's what I told Brian. I was like, well, I would love to just like, you know, if it does real good, then we can just travel and vlog. You know, going to all these places that would be really awesome. And then I was like, wait, our dogs, we can't, you know, do that without them. And then he threw this at me. No. <laughs> you said you made a joke when we were talking about like, you know, when we sell our house. That we should just move into my mom's back room. Yeah. And then we can just travel. And I said, yes. I would have, I would, I've always loved the idea of like the van life. I couldn't do it full time like these people on YouTube, like where that's their home. Like they don't have a home, like their van is their home. I would still want a home somewhere, like even if it was with, you know, your parents or my parent, parent. <laughs> <laughs> Even if that you know that was like our still like you know our retreat to go back to like that would be fine you know I couldn't do that full time but I just think it would be cool to have that option like you can just drive across the country and like you don't have to get a hotel room you don't have to like well okay so in my, you know my defense when I hear van I'm thinking I just see seats no, like no, I can't picture she said, she's like when I hear van I think of a Volkswagen Beetle. That's yeah, a like, car. like I don't, but I can't envision like a bed, a bathroom, yeah, like a kitchen. All, all of and, this in there. And, and he crazy. shows me this lady in I her saw, van. I just Googled, I just searched on YouTube a random one and it was a female. So I was like, well, maybe you'll like this one even more because it's just a female. And I told him if he, because it, it was nice, very nice. It was almost like a camper. Except yeah, it's, a, a glam, like, RV, but you're, like it's, it's a you're very. Paying, like, 10 to 12 grand to buy the van and build exactly what you want versus paying like 30,000 plus for any decently modern miniature RV and an RV like a van the thing about the vans an RV you can't just like park it on the side of the road and sleep you have to go to like a campground or an RV park and stuff and pay so every single night you got to find where you're going to go and pay for a spot and whatnot Whereas a van, they call it stealth camping because you can pull, you know, you, you tint the windows and stuff. It looks like a normal van on the outside, but you can pull up in like a Walmart parking lot and then boom, like nobody knows you're in there camping, but now you got a place, you know, that's where you park for the night. So that's Well, like, after that's watching this cars. video, I am, I said if we could make it something very close or similar to that. I would probably consider it because that way we could take our dogs with us. Yeah, so I think that's cool. Dogs, yeah. I'm not saying that I would want to make this my life, but maybe no, just like a year. Like, no, not even a year. I don't even, a, a couple I mean, months. I mean, that would be cool. Like, just literally travel across the world with like a, Like, that would be cool. I don't know. Do a few months or mm -hmm. six months, well, maybe. Just, like, own one, and then when we want to travel, we can just go for a week at a time or something. And that and would just, be really cool. Yeah. And then we can vlog the whole experience, yeah. and it would be really awesome That's and fun. Most of these people are, like, photographers and vloggers and stuff, so, like... Yeah, the pictures that you can yeah, get of places. The people, I'm, the, some of the stuff, like, they literally are... They open the side of their van, and they're on, like, the side of a mountain or, like, a volcano and stuff yeah. and just the pictures you can get and then like you know you cook and grill out and it's sweet we'll see and you always make fun of me for watching these videos now look yeah i'm almost i'm slight, slightly convinced i'm the kind of person though, i do need a home yeah. <laughs> like i just well, that's what i said like yeah. i would always want somewhere to actually like go back to like some you know but like i wouldn't want to own a house but, but yeah, at the I same time i wouldn't want to own a house because why yeah. would i be paying that why would we be yeah. paying a mortgage or whatever yeah i wouldn't when we're not even in that like, home have like a nice big bedroom or something that's like, why i you said know, like do it just do it one time you know i don't mm -hmm. know before i don't i don't know but, but a lot of fun. people do it too and like you know when they're 
going to college or like training for a new job and stuff because you're essentially living for free all you got to do is pay for gas and well car insurance too but oh and food <laughs> but that versus like a mortgage payment or a rent payment is your entire monthly expenses are cheaper than just the mortgage or rent true that true that also um now it's facing me um i apologize hopefully my audio is good and hopefully my hand is not covering the mic was my was my hand covering the mic on my camera do you, what, what hand do you film with? This is a random question. I go back and forth. See, I use my, I don't know, because I'm, is it, Brian always laughs at me because I always say, is it because I'm left-handed? Because I am left-handed. I'm like, is that why I always hold it with my right hand? Um, well, just side note, just everybody in the, the comments um, on this video, you're going to see, wish Caroline a happy birthday because her birthday's coming up. And then, um... This vlog I'm going to put up is not anything crazy exciting. I'm going to try to film a couple tag with me and Brian tonight. I have a lot of good questions. Um, I may include it in this video. I don't know yet. We'll see. But I'm freaking pumped. In approximately, how many days? Three? Yep. Two days. Three days. Three days. I will be seeing Post Malone. And I will be so close to him. It's unreal. I will see his sweat roll down his forehead. You don't understand. I'm going to like die. I will have a Bud Light for him. And Brian doesn't even things. Brian doesn't even drink. Um, I'm really excited. Like the as the days getting closer and closer. I when did you buy these tickets? I don't remember. We were just talking about it at work. Like he bought these tickets before like Christmas. For, yeah. It was before Christmas. I swear to you, like I kid maybe. you not, and it's not an ex exaggeration. I think about it every day. I think about it multiple times every day, and I apologize for the noise in the back. That's my wash, my dishwasher. Yeah, yeah, I almost said my dishwasher. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm like really pumped for that. Caroline's birthday is Tuesday, so like I said, wish her a happy birthday. And yeah, some really good stuff's coming up. And yep, I'm gonna vlog me, Jake, and Brian going to the concert, so it's gonna be really fun. But yeah, that's all for right now, guys. All right, guys, so. I'm going to show you just a quick little haul of things that I've got recently. My voice sounds kind of different. I just woke up from a nap and um, I'm trying to get our house super clean and all that for when we leave. I don't know if any of you guys are like that before you go somewhere and you want to have a nice clean house. So I'm sick of this just being on a pile in my bedroom. So I'm just going to kind of do like an impromptu haul. I would show my face and show you this stuff, but literally I look busted and I want to get you guys a video up. Did not know um, when you or when like I save stuff to haul, I forget half the crap that I have bought. <laughs> so as you can see, I have some Ray done. We'll start there. I bought these um, couple glow mugs, and I'm gonna be really honest with you, I forgot that I bought these. I got them. And, uh, I'll tell you right now where I got them. Twelve ninety nine. Got it at TJ Maxx. Not too bad of a deal. Love this. So I think I'm actually really set for Valentine's Day. I don't, I say this now, I don't need to buy any more Valentine's Day mugs and I really don't need to buy any more Christmas stuff because I'm really pretty much set. I have a lot of Halloween stuff too. That was my favorite one to decorate for. So really cute mugs. Could not resist. It means that we're on the topic of Ray Dunn. I got this mug and it says BU. Another kind of like Valentine's-esque. We can keep this up all year. Pink interior. The um, colored interiors. Those are my all-time favorite. And this was $5.99 at my guarantee at TJ Maxx. And super cute. Freaking love it. So yeah, here's the two makeup things that I got that I completely forgot about until now. So that's cool. I got this Hello Kitty OPI nail polish and it's super pretty. Camera's not doing it justice, but yeah, I got this really pretty pink to like put over top of pinks. So it'll look really pretty. I do love OPI's glittery, glittery polishes. I always think they turn out really pretty. And for any of you guys that wanna know the shade, Let's celebrate. And I only pay $3.99, which is a really good deal. It says $6. Normally these run up to $10. So got this. Was gonna do it for like birthday nails. Completely forgot. 
And then I got this. I love highlighters. So this like drew me and it looks super pretty. So we will see if I like that or not. That's what it looks like. And um, TJ Maxx, I mean, you all probably know by now, but if you don't really go to TJ Maxx and you like makeup, they have a ton of like really high-end makeup there. So you should give it a try. Only pay $2.99. Really good deal. And then I got two purses and I am, I think I probably, I'm like the ultimate girly girl. Purses, shoes, makeup, it doesn't matter. I love it all. So I am a huge purse fanatic, like fanatic, and um, I get that from my mother. <laughs> but I got two purses. Jacob actually got me this one. Um, and it looks like this. Uh, he got this like as an early birthday present for me when we were shopping, which that tells you that I've had this stuff for a little for a minute now, and I've just for I've actually wore this a couple times. It's like a really pretty magenta pink Steve Madden. Um, it is small, which there's ibuprofen in there. <laughs> it is small, so I would. Um, I'm not a real big small person, like small purse person. Um, uh, yeah, but I got, I've seen these and I fell in love and I thought it would be perfect to wear like to our concert when we go on our trip, you know, I'm not lugging around a giant heavy bag and this you could just throw over your, you know, it's like a shoulder bag. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but super pretty. And then I got the green and the green. I, I thought I just instantly felt fall. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I instantly felt fall when I seen these. So in me, I wear purses all year round, no matter what color they are. But this is just a beautiful emerald green. If I could find a purse like big this size, that would be freaking awesome. Um, and then they come with like a little card holder, which is awesome. If you guys want to know, I think these were 25 yeah, would not have paid that regularly for this, but I think they were only $25, and yeah, tells you it comes with a little card case, which is really nice because my, the wallet I have does not fit in this, so I'll show you my next thing because me being, you know, ditzy, I didn't see this at first, and um, I went to Target because I was like, okay, I need a wallet for my room. I mean, for my room, shoot, gosh. Um, I need a wallet for my purse to fit in, like something like this, super small to carry, just cash, you know, like your debit card, ID, what you need. And then we were out shopping and I seen this little duo and it's like a really pretty like glittery, which you can't see the like like the glittery part, but it's pretty, it's black. I almost got a pink one, but I was like, uh, this will go obviously with more. And um, it's nice and small. Will I still use it for this? Absolutely, even with this, I mean, why not? And then if I want, I can just wear, just carry this like into the grocery store or something with a little holder. And then I got this on sale in clearance for $4.50. I would have never paid $15 for this. Like it seems like I have like a huge shopping problem because I love shopping. But something about me is like I never pay full price or something. I, for the most part, I don't. Unless I like really love it. But back to Steve Madden bags. If you are a big purse person, um, I always recommend Steve Madden to everybody. Uh, they sell it at Target, like Marshalls, you know, stuff like that. And their purses are super great quality. They're like really cute. I love them. So yeah, you guys should check Steve Madden purses out. Like half of my collection is Steve Madden because they're cute and they're extremely affordable. So, okay, and then two other Ray Dunn mugs, which I got the other day. I got a pair of black pants, but I wear them to work, and there's nothing special. They're just some basic black pants. I got this mug, Happy Spring, which the yellow is absolutely so cute. It's so, like, bright. I love this, and I almost was going to say it's matte. I love the matte looking ones, but no, it's not. And then... $5.99. And I got this at my TJ Maxx around my house. So that's pretty cool. I never do. I found like a ton of radon there. And of course, when I'm trying to like, you know, not buy as much and all that, I find a ton and I'm like, ugh. But I didn't. Well, I got two things. So I'm proud of myself. And then this one, so cute. I always call Brian like little names like this. So I thought of him. And red interior, perfect for Valentine's Day. Again, $5.99. And then, and then, I got, I'm not going to show all of them. Victoria's Secret had a really awesome sale. Um, 
And their underwear when I went was 10 for 35, which to me that's a really good deal. And I just got a ton. They got a bunch of really cute colors. Those are like my favorite. Those are like kind of candy unicorny. Um, and I know like some people don't like spending the money on stuff like that, like when I go to Walmart or something and they're cheaper. For me, I have Victoria, I like, I will spend the money on something if I know it lasts, which those, they last. For me personally, like I've had like really lacy ones and you know, if you get cheap ones, which I've bought before, they like, you can pull them up and then you poke a hole in like the lace and then they kind of, they're just crappy after that. And then like in the washer, like they hold up, not like, they start to just look like crap all around. And these, my Victoria's Secret, I've had for years. They still look brand new. So I will pay the money for those. And anytime they usually have sales like that, um, I always want to go out and get more. Their bras are really good too, which I think I'm going to go buy more and I'll be set for a minute. And then, yeah. Um, I got, okay. I did get another radon piece. It is over on my shelf over there. So I'll just show it one when, when um I'll show it like another time. But it is just a bit well like a medium size heart and uh, you can open it. I just displayed it and it just says love on it. It's super cute. No, I haven't saw anything like that in a minute. And then last but not least, which a lot of um YouTubers I follow, uh, a lot of them have this jacket, and it's super cute. Got it at Target, so I'll let you guys know now. This is, like, the brightest, cute bubblegum pink. Carolyn and Brian did not like this, but I fell in love with it. It's the Wild Fable. I got a size large, and it was regularly 30 Got it for 15 so go check your Target out. This is a really good deal, and um, I will say, though, with I've learned with Wild Fable, they brought, they're very forgiving with their sizes, which that's really nice. So it doesn't make you feel completely like a, you know, fatty. I'm just kidding, but like for real, I can size down. I definitely could have got a medium, which I'm a true. I personally feel like I'm a true large, and I just want to like let you guys know that um, size down, for sure, because I definitely could have done that. And it's super cute. And one of the YouTubers, her name's Jen. I think it's like XO Jen or Jen Brooks. Um, her style's freaking amazing. She's super girly. And then she's got two daughters. Beautiful. And I love everything she wears. And I seen she had this. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. And I never really thought anything of it. And then I seen it one day when we went. Because we don't have a Target around us. And... I am obsessed. And I can finally wear this now. I've had it in the bag to haul for you guys. But, um, yeah. Super cute. And then, if you guys like Chelsea, Chelsea Lynn, which I'm a huge fan over here, she has this. And I see her wear it all the time in her Insta stories. So, I'm like, heck yeah, man. But, yeah, this is going to be my video for today, guys. I know it was nothing crazy exciting. And I apologize. But, again, some days are like that. Um, brain and me, I ended up, like I said, I ended up, I had been sick all week and then I am off now for four days. So that's really cool. More content to give you and more fun, more fun videos to watch. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm going to do a video still with him. So I know like some people have asked, which is cool because I'm getting more subscribers, which I love you guys. Thank you all so much for subscribing. And I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. If you have any suggestions for videos you want to see, just like, let me know in the comments below and again thank you all for the birthday wishes they were so sweet like I'm a huge person for birthdays and yeah it meant the world to me and then some I promise you it did not go unnoticed I just can't reply back to every comment but thank you so much and yeah I think that's gonna be it today guys um like I said couples tag still still gonna come I still promise um and I'm glad we waited a little bit because now I'm, I have more subscribers for you guys to watch and get to know us a little bit more. But yeah, I'm going to go clean my house now and do all kinds of like the boring stuff that you don't want to see. And I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Before I go, I wanted to show you guys my tattoo. What it's looking like. She's healing really, really good. Um, I'll show it in like the natural light tomorrow. I'll do like an update video every day and let you guys see how it looks. But yeah, super cute. Um, it's in like the peely stage, so you can see this. But yesterday was even worse, and the colors are really shining now. Amazing. I love it so much. I'm very happy with it, and now I want more, and I'm like, ah, shit. <laughs> but yeah, 
I freaking love it. Just want to let you guys see the tattoo. Super cute.